Hi, it's your favorite epic twin here, and today I'm going to be deviating a little bit from my usual theme, and I'm going to talk about staying in touch with your high school friends when you go away to college and so on and so forth. So that's something that, like, no matter what school you go to or anything, like, that's always going to be an issue, as, especially if you were really, really, really close to your high school friends, like I was. We had a very like tight knit group, so it's kind of hard because like we're all in different states right now. I'm actually visiting my friend Bree at her in her UD dorm right now. Slipped over. Yeah, it was nice catching up with her. But Bree is the kind of high school friend who like we talk every day. Like she calls me or I call her. She mostly calls me. I'm not I'm not very good at calling people, but. But yeah, we talk every single day. And like, that's what you think it's going to be like with all of your friends, but that doesn't end up happening. You have the friends who you call every day. You have the friends who you text every day. You have the friends that you Skype once in a while. And then it seems like there's always be the one that kind of drifts further apart from the rest of the group, maybe? Like, I feel like because we're all busy, like, college is kind of hell for all of us right now. No matter what school you're going to, all of my other friends are doing pre-med, but don't, don't freaking be, like, misled to think that art school is not hard, because it's tough. It's really tough. And it's even tougher because it's stuff that you're not used to, like, you're not used to having art projects and stuff being your main grade. Like, if you took an art class, then it's like an art class, and you don't really have to do stuff outside of art class. At least that's how mine was. But everything that you're doing here is art. And so you have to think in a different way that you never really had to think before. It's tough. But anyway, yeah. You think that you're going to talk on the phone or text or Skype all the time with your high school friends. But I mean, it's not practical because you're all really busy and you're all really like out of your element, like as Michelle was explaining in the why high school is stupid video. Because high school doesn't really prepare you for college as much as it should have. Yeah, as much as it should have. So yeah, so it can get pretty discouraging because you know you always hear the stories like especially like your parents will probably tell you that they're not friends with anyone from high school that they made all their friends in college and stuff like that and if you're like my if you're like some of the people in my group of friends like you really haven't found anyone yet that you connect on the same level with your high school friends and it's also because like as my high school friends like we all met some point freshman year so we've been friends for like four years now. So like we had a lot of time to become friends and like we met each other when we weren't even looking for friends. But now it's like everybody just needs friends so we're clinging on to people but people that we don't necessarily like connect with on deeper friendship level. And it's really hard to like make that decision like to, to be alone until you find someone who you connect with a lot, or to hang out with people that you don't connect with to avoid being alone. Especially New York is a pretty lonely city, and like this isn't like the traditional college town, no football games and no house parties and stuff like that. I mean, there's parties somewhere, I haven't found them, but yeah. And so it, it can get really, really lonely. And so you kind of want to cling to your high school friends still, but then they might be ha living a completely different story. Like, they might have a lot going on, like football games and like house parties and like clubs and stuff like that. And it's really easy to feel, like, insecure about it and lonely and to just feel like it's just the end now. And, like, you, you find those people in college who like explicitly state that they're not going to stay friends with any of their friends from high school. And it like makes you feel like, no, I don't want that to happen to me because, you know, you probably met a, a really great group of friends in high school 
who helped you get through all of the bullshit that you had to go through. And you can't just, like, let go of that. But I feel like sometimes it's okay to just let go a little bit and just give that person space or those people space to kind of, like, find their direction in college. Because I know if I went to college with all of my friends, I'd probably be a completely different person just because, like, when you're part of a group, you're so used to the group dynamic. But now, like, we all have our chances to, like, redefine ourselves, I guess, and, and like, as our own people instead of just part of our group. So, yeah, so you have to give your friends chances to, like, grow and, like, change and become a part of the environment that they're in now. But at the same time, you don't want to try and replace them. Like, it, 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 it sounds weird, but it's like when you meet people, you might be looking for the similar, like some of the similar qualities that you had in your old friends. Like I do that all the time, but you're not gonna, you're probably not gonna find people like that, especially like here. There, there's no one, <laughs> there's no one here like as openly ratchet and as like, I don't know. No one here is like my old friends, and I'm realizing that it's a good thing. Because I don't want to replace them. I still want to have my old friends. But I'm making new friends, I guess, that are different. And I can show a different side of myself, too. Because, I, like, the fashion side and the artsy side and stuff doesn't always translate well to pre-med majors. But, like, we can do different things with the new friends that we make in college and still keep in touch with our high school friends and make sure that, like, we make it a point to see them when we have breaks because even as like you might make friends like that in college and hopefully you do because it makes it a lot easier but if you find people that you really connect on a deep level with you don't want to let that go because friends can be really hard to find everywhere it's a very dog eat dog world so don't just let go of that unless you need to, unless they're not good friends. But if you find a good group in high school, make sure you stick with that. But make sure you're also open, you also open yourself and let your friends open themselves up to making new friends in college. And maybe they might become your friends, who knows? But yeah, that was my little segment. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, follow us. You know the drill by now. Bye. Not